a very good evening to you all friends so as a dba i was just wondering what is the most important thing i mean uh, which is really important for you your sql server is actually running on some windows server machine and it is really important that the sql server keeps running i mean there is no uh, production issue which brings that server down in terms of high availability so one of the important reasons for which your sql server might just go down is due to the transaction log it's quite uh, it's quite uh, often that your transaction log fills in with the uh, because of the dmls that happen on the data uh, on the various tables of the database the transactions that happen the log grows and it's quite often that you will uh, as a dbs see an error that there is no more space in the drive uh, for the transaction log to grow i mean your drives on which your sql server uh, the system on which your sql server is running is actually full uh, up to the capacity it has so basically it's important to monitor the space which is available which is actually of uh, space of the drives which is hosting your mdf and ldf files so uh, in this demonstration we will be looking at a very quick way by which you can monitor uh, the space which is available in your in your server or on your server basically so this article is mostly about uh, the mechanism by which you would monitor your uh, there uh, there are various ways actually to schedule and and get maintenance plans but uh, if uh, but what what i want to show here is a very simple uh, command which is right so if i run xp underscore fixed drives this command command gives you the free space on all the drives which is hosting i mean of the o operating system or the server which is hosting your sql server so if you look at this instance sql server is running on my system and my system has two drives uh, c b and c so if i run xp underscore fixed drives this will give you the amount of free space which is currently available on this uh, drives so uh, basing upon this i can actually configure a very this is a very easy way of getting the uh, free spaces so basing upon this you can actually come up with uh, a stored procedure uh, a simple stored procedure to monitor free space so what you will do is you can actually sh set up a threshold uh, limit basically maybe this is of 2 gbs uh, you can set it up for 1 gb and if your drive space goes down below i mean it goes below the threshold limit you can actually use xp underscore send mails to shoot mails if you have send mails configured you can you can fire alerts you can send mails to the people with the message that the uh, drive is going below uh, the space required to run the sql server and do something about it so it's it's one of the ways now further to this what you would do is with this command you can actually schedule it uh, with a uh, your sql agent jobs you can use sql cmd if you know that you can uh, through a command file and schedule it and, and pull it regularly one another uh, also uh, option used is every time you re reboot your sql server maybe on a weekend uh, when you reboot your sql server in production environment uh, you can actually also schedule it to run in uh, every time i mean as a startup proc so you can actually configure the startup proc you can use you can execute this and configure startup proc options and then reconfigure it and use this procedure as a startup proc so this option with this option what will happen is each time you reboot your system uh, the system uh, will run this procedure i mean the sql server each time your sql server is rebooted your uh, procedure will be fired at the startup 
with this option so this is a very quick way by which you can monitor spaces uh, as a dba i hope it will be really helpful to you thanks so much